Today, we're going to be playing a custom ROM hack of Ocarina of Time known as The Legend of Zelda The Missing Link, and this mod is awesome. Uh, basically what it does is it is a custom made story that is supposed to take place in between the events of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Max to kind of give you the story and the events of what happened in between the two games. I have not spoiled myself in any way of what's going to happen in the game, so I'm super excited to check it out. So, let's see what it's all about. According to the legend passed down from generation to generation to the Kingdom of Hyrule, there was once a boy who lived in his life peacefully deep within the forest. But one day, the magical fairy Navi informed the boy of his destiny to save the Kingdom of Hyrule from the great king of evil, Ganon. The boy embarked on his quest and conquered many foes, all while Navi guided him. Princess Zelda then sent the boy back in time to relive his childhood. It is said that upon completing his quest, the boy traveled on a secret and personal journey. But what led him on that journey, and where did Navi go? Yeah, where did he go, mod check? Oh. Wait, this is so much more custom than I thought! Whoa. Can I just, like, go back here and just ignore it? Aw. Oh. <laughs> they knew there were people like me that are like, nah, let's just see if we can go back. Anyways. <laughs> Where did Navi go, Linkus? Did you lose her? Maybe Mido was right about you. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, Mido? The evil guard that keeps blocking your way to Deku Tree? Why is she Team Mido? What the hell? Welcome back to the forest, Linkus. Huh? Where did Navi go? Dude, I don't know. She just left me. Hmm. Heart piece, huh? Well, you know I want that. You know, it might not be the intended strap, but it's valid. Linkus, you're already back? You should visit Saria. I'm sure she really misses you. Her magic door will only open to those who know her song. Uh, well, I guess it's the way they teach you the song. I guess in case you don't remember the song, that's a nice little reminder. Oh no, it's Mido. You're back already? And you've lost your fairy? I knew there was something wrong with you. Unless you can make a bridge, you can't go past here. The path's collapsed. They did say that if I, I could cut down thin trees, huh? Whoa, this is custom too. Oh, maybe this is it? Use Mido as the bridge, true. Listen carefully, this forest is in grave danger. Without the divine protection of the great Deku Tree, the Kiri Forest slowly has begun to wither away. Worse yet, a fairy collecting demon has started capturing all of the fairies in the land of Hyrule, and will soon arrive here as well. No. In front of you is a chest containing a farewell gift from one of your friends. Please, use that gift to save this forest and bring back its fairies. You got it. You got the soul charge, Kakiri sword. Uh, oh, so I can cut the tree from, oh, from far away. Beam, I get it. Charge up a spin attack or attack with full hearts to fire a blame beam. No matter, Sire probably won't mind if you borrow it for a while. Where is she anyways? Dude, it's like literally an OG Zelda game. You know, like in like Zelda 1 or like those like classic 2D games. Yeah, this is both using its own original ideas mixed with content we know from betas to my understanding. Yeah, I think I'm guessing I can cut it down now. Yeah. Deep woods. But before we get further into this amazing ROM hack, just a quick word from today's sponsor. Thank you so much, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. You know what I hate so much? Whenever you come home from like a date or a special occasion, you look yourself in the mirror afterwards and you're like, wait, there's hair sticking out of my nose. Well, fear no more because Manscaped just released the Weed Whacker 2.0. The Weed Whacker 2.0 Nose and Ear Trimmer is an upgrade from the original Weed Whacker, which not only comes with a more powerful engine, but also both of them includes a skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks, snags, or just tugs in general, which is not something you're going to feel in those areas. It's super easy. You start it, you put it in the necessary location, and it is done. It is that simple. It is an absolutely amazing product, and it gets all the job done in just a few minutes. 
And best of all, if you get the Platinum Package 4.0 or the Performance Package 4.0, they will all now come with the Weedbacker 2.0, which basically is an awesome little upgrade in that package. So if any of that sounds interesting, you want to check out all of these amazing products, you should definitely go to manscaped.com. And don't forget to use the promo code LINKIS7 when you're checking out to get 20% off your first order plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Manscaped.com slash LINKIS7. Do it. Click the button. Check them out. They're pretty awesome. Thank you so much, Manscaped. I recognize this stomp. It looks like- Wait, what are you doing here? What can I do? Cluck Cluck Ranch is up ahead, but the Deku guards won't let me visit. You little boy, please, could you try getting through? I need my Kako's birthday certificate. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> hey you, don't even think about getting past me. We guard this path to the Deku Grove, and nobody has ever gotten past me. Not even a real scary fairy collector guy. Yeah, he didn't go right past this gate. And you aren't either. Sure. Well, I can only go this way, so sorry, girl. You'll have to wait for your Cutco's birth certificates. Hmm, what a suspicious hole. Oh, God, bat. I don't know if, all the, if the music is original or remixes or from other Zelda games, but this sounds new to me, but I could be wrong. But this right here is like inspired by the do 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 you can hit tell. Correct. Oops. Can I talk to this guy? Hey you, you wanna get through here? Tough luck. You're not going anywhere while I'm watching you. While he's watching me, huh? That sounds sus. Um. I mean, technically he's no longer watching me, but I don't- I think maybe pushing him out of bounds was not the solution. But I mean, technically he ain't watching me, so... Oh, maybe he can't hide if I have the blocks already blocking it. Hold on. Because then he can't teleport to these spots. Giga Chad. Easy clap. Is that a breakable wall? It looks sus. Michael kept begging me to go to Monktown Valley to buy him bomb juice, but eh. Hey, I got it. Why don't you just go there for me so you'll finally shut up? You will need to know the super secret Deku code, though. I always remember it like 23 is number one. I get this reference, 231. It's the standard code for the Deku tree. I found a small key. Well, time for 231. Nut. Ask the Deku brothers for instructions. Oh, I know this. 231. Oh, two. Three. This is a clever way to bring the same puzzle back without making it without the Deku scrubs. Okay. Linkus. Linkus. Please don't be afraid. It is I, the soul bow within your sword speaking. I'm very weak at the moment, so please excuse my memory. I wish I could explain more to you, but this is important. I sense a curse in this valley. Yes, I am sure of it. What the hell was that? Saria, she's dead! Saria! A cow? Moo? Say it again. I dare you to say it again. Moo. This place is sus, and those boxes looks even more sus. Yeah, that's true. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more awesome content. Wait a second. Hmm. Something very sus is going on upstairs here. Wait a second. Do you think it can jump into that pot right there? Hmm. Oh, I hate these homies. If more of them spawn, I could try and use them to my advantage to blow these rocks up, though. <gasps> Did I just see a piece of heart? Oh, dude, I'm so five-head. I knew there would be secret stuff. It was too sus. All right, let's enter this castle, shall we? Ooh, five-head. 
Oh, I get it. Sticks, fire torch, light the torch on fire with your beam, then grab a stick to use the stick to break the floor. Smart. When we arrive here, Reed did suddenly appear. The gate over there is the only thing keeping us safe. We will just hang out in here until they're gone, I suppose. This is our treasure now. Go bother someone else. Actually, I want that chest. Oh, I need a bottle, because a bottle can be used to crip up that blue fire to take down the red eyes. I get it. Uh, let's go here. This is a new area I haven't been to. Uh... Wait, I am impressed. This is not a loading zone. This is just one giant area. This is big for the N64. You know, I really like the music of this mod so far, but I feel like this song does not really get across the mood that this building is in. It's a dark building with bats, run down, abandoned, and I get the happy tune of like a village house. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to do anything here. Let me try and kill all the enemies just in case, but don't think there's anything else here. There's one more bad. Oh, shit. Bottle? Explosives? Or a heart piece? Heart piece. All right. Well, I'm almost at four hearts. Um. You know... I feel like this isn't exactly the sort of shop I was expecting slash hoping for. Oh, wait. Does this, like, go around? That's so cool! Wait, what? That's such a cool effect and idea. Hmm, let's read lead at the library. The curse. The valley's oldest known theologist once wrote of a curse that would bring great peril if one were to disturb the sanctuary. The only way to revert this curse is to bring back silence into the sanctuary. Silence, huh? Shh. Nobody make a sound. Nature one, P-hats. P-hats are notorious creatures. Uh, the combative skills are unrivaled to any other monster. Hmm, sure, yeah. The shield can throw the rotters off balance, giving the sword an opening. Deaky scrubs. They will never trust you and only act peaceful when they feel weak. Even if you get the Deaky pass to talk to them, they will still try to scam you by selling you overpriced items. Now that's a very true statement. There is a magic spell that lets the user bind a soul into an object. This makes the object much more powerful and can give it magical abilities. One use might be to create a spell that binds the soul of a mouse to a bomb, allowing it to run. That's what a bomb chew is? Well, thanks for the lore game. Okay, well, if we look at this map right here... Wait a second, there's one entrance I haven't used. There's a secret entrance at the library that goes into the sanctuary. You see the red up there? I must have missed something. I didn't see those handles right there. Alright, this has to be what I need to do. I got a stick. Oh, can I explode the ball? Oh, that's so clever! I expected that I needed to get a bomb. That's such a clever solution. This is why it gave me a stick. I need to go across here with the fire. Is that platform ever gonna come back to me? Hello? Hello? I think I get it. When the torch is lit, it moves. Well, it did give me a description of how to fight this guy. Now, this has to be a bottle. Come on, I can see it. This has to be the bottle. I knew it. Dude, yeah, that's true. We really gotta hurry up and get to the Rand so we can get those Kukko's birth certificates. I forgot about them. I'm such a terrible person for forgetting that. Oh, maybe the Gerudos are scared and run off now? Yeah, boy! Linkus, look outside. Yeah, just give me a second. Oh, I thought that was the bomb juice. Uh, all right, why are we going outside? Oh, sh they turn into people. 
Because of the hero shield on your back, of course. Well, you lifted the curse. Thanks a lot, kid. You're welcome, guy. Hey, that means I can go to the shop and buy some bomb shoes now. That's, that's voiding out. That's voiding out. I wish I could say that was the first time I've done that. Well, we got our bomb shoes. Okay, here's the sus wall I wanted to break. And here's the guy who desperately wanted to see a bomb chew. Please show me a bomb chew. If you can find a way to blow up that wall over there with a bomb chew, I will find a way to get you past those guards. Mark my word. Thanks for helping my brother and I take our Deku pass and chase down that fairy collector. Now, that guards will let you enter the Deku grove. Thanks for the Deku pass, bro. Now we can finally go and get the Kukos birth certificates. Thank God, Chad. Yay! Deku Road. Yeah, Deku Road kind of sounds like if they made a Zelda track in uh, Mario Kart, doesn't it? That's a cute structure. I like that. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to, like, get a bomb chew in there? Hold on. Uh, maybe shoot something in it that's not a bomb chew, I guess. Because that bomb chew 100% went in there. Maybe I need, like, a slingshot or something. Oh, or that. There's a big skull here. Is that Skull Kid? Hey, man, just listen, all right? Don't pick up the Majora's Mask. If you ever find that guy, don't pick it up. It ain't worth it. Are you up for a little game, young traveler? Try to blow up the skull's eyes. <laughs> I bet you can't. All right. Oh. Oh, it regrows. Oh, let me try and do it quicker then. Oh, there we go. That was rad! You are much cooler than the Deku. All right, I'll hand over the prize. Thanks, bro. Yeah, the background music is really good on this mod. You need to visit Clonk Clonk Ranch? Too bad! We destroyed that bridge! <laughs> I mean, really, we, we can't let anyone enter as they please, you know? Did you stock up on rupees? One of our merchants has a special offer on a rare item. Mm -mm -mm. By the looks of shoes, you're a poor peasant, aren't you? <sighs> I didn't realize DQs were so high class. True. Alright, let's see if 159 rupees is enough. Oh no, not the creepy sword again. Please listen closely, Linkus. I fear this may be the last time we're able to speak like this. Why? Look around and observe. This forest may seem at first glance to simply be a peaceful dwelling, yet I can sense the presence of the fairies. They are nearby. You surely must feel it too, the darkness creeping towards us. It's almost as if, if you listen closely. You can hear their cries. When I heard the demon was nearing the forest, I left to stop him. I wanted to protect all of our fairies. As you can see though, I failed and nearly lost my life. Nearly? Rather than die a useless death, I sealed my soul within this sword and waited for you. I waited for you, Linkus, to return. I just knew you would. I'm sorry I couldn't be of any help to you, but I'm glad we spent this time together. So please, give this adventure a hopeful end. I'll be there beside you. Always. I think we have a different definition for nearly died, but you know what? I'll give her a pass on this one. Hello there. I have a bottle filled with the poor Deku Grove air. It's a true souvenir, only 40 bucks. I'm gonna say no for now. That doesn't sound too good of a deal to me. You need to drink a lot of milk so your bones grow. How about our famous Deacon Up milk for only 40 bucks? Oh, I see. You buy a second bottle and then buy the milk. You know what? Sure, we'll do it. I don't know why people are so like, what the hell about the nut milk? Literally, there are so many people who drink almond milk for like a living, all right? <laughs> Drinking milk for a living? Listen, chat, all right? Sometimes we just, we don't have to focus on the small details, all right? Sometimes we can just let things like that go. Mmm, Deacon Nut Milk. Why do you think it's called milk? It's not really milk. It's a different substance. It's just used in a similar way that you would use milk. 
I'm selling my most valuable item. A piece of heart. 99 bucks. Actually, no, thank you. <gasps> Bean guy. Hi. Look at how he's munching. Dude, this guy is such a homie. Why is he turning blue when he eats, though? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Mm, welcome to the rarity shop. Mm, I opened my shop in the Deku Forest so I can get lots of yummy Deku nuts. Would you like to trade your Deku nuts for a bunny hood mask? Uh, yeah. Bog. Not only is the hood's long ear super cute, but it also allows you to run faster and jump higher. Let's go. Thank you for trading with me, Chuck. Chad, you remember how we were talking? You made fun of me for saying that people drink milk for a living? This dude's literally eating nuts for a living, okay? It's not that far fetched. All you gotta do is milk those babies and you're there. It's not that weird. Also, I'm a little bit sad. I think we're getting closer and closer to the end of this ROM hack because there's only one more item we're missing. Uh oh. I'm selling high quality Deku sticks. Only one stick is 15 bucks. Bye. Hey there. Would you like to visit my Deku Baba garden? It only costs you 20 bucks. Sure. Is there anything hidden in the grass? Nope, I can't see anything. Yeah, I guess it's just to get more nuts, huh? Oh, sh do you jump far with this? Wait, does that mean I can jump over the gaps in the room? Does this technically count as gliding, you think, Chad? I feel like a jump like that's gotta be possible, bro. Well, this is the closest. You need to glide over the chasm somehow. Okay, he literally tells me that this mask... I could probably somewhat make this jump, but it's clearly not intended. Does this guy sell anything else except for the mask? Hold on. <laughs> I just realized, won't the nuts cap off before 100, though? It caps at 20! No! I feel scammed! Also, while I'm at it, let's go and buy the harpy, shall we? Why not? I just realized the nuts are turning in blue because they're stunning him. That's so funny. Oh my god, I can get to the ranch! I can get to the ranch with the bunny ears if I go back. I can jump across the bridge that they broke. And then I can get the birth certificate for the cuckoos. I get it now. Pluck, pluck, ranch! Moo? Moo? Oh, fairy boy, you're back. I have an idea. What if you and Epona raced each other? All right, if you can run from the deep woods back to the ranch before Epona does, I'll give you a prize. It's human versus horse. Who is going to win? I repeat, human versus horse. Epona! Wait, what? Oh god. You gotta be kidding me. 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 As promised, here's your prize for winning the race. It's the blue cucko. A special kind of pucko that is blue and is extremely brave. Unlike the other cuckos in the ranch, he is brave enough to leave and explore Hyrule. And he can fly over long distances. Oh my god, I have to bring him over there? God damn it. What is this homie up to? The cuckoo in the stables are very noisy lately. Maybe something usual fell into the stable. Hmm. What about nut milk, Linkus? Don't think that's it, chat. I want bunny ears like that too. I can't catch a cuckoo like this. Oh, why are there these giant ears growing out of your head? No! No! Not Dampe! By the way, which does remind me, if you do want to know something about Dampe that's really cool, is you click on the top right of the screen right now for a really interesting video about Dampe's Valentine's Day. We've had this race for many generations. We'll be able to handle a silly issue like Deku's.
Giga Chad! Oh, I get it now. This is how you leave that crawl space. It looks like I'm sped up because it's so freaking fast. I guess except for when you climb. I guess climbing's still slow. All right, time to enter the the evil Deku tree that's dead. Hollow Root Keep. Dungeon time, baby. Wait, the hands are literally a hand reaching out to grab a fairy. That's it? I'll never catch a fairy again? Don't worry, Chad. I'm sure they'll understand. That demon deep inside this place, he caught everyone in our village and used us as evil experiments. He said he wants to create the ultimate monster. Please help my buddies and I. Here, take this key. Maybe it will help you free us. Honestly, chat, that is just... That is something. Well, let's go back to the room I was at. I get it, but I don't have the beam. Wait, it doesn't want me to go back that way? Then how am I supposed to do this without full health? Link is, you can always use the beam even when you don't have full health if you charge up a spin attack. I, I knew that. I clearly properly read the description on my sword when I received it and knew that. Whoa, an elevator. If I would have to guess, I'm guessing this game has one dungeon. But I could be wrong. Yeah, we'll figure it out soon enough. Okay, I think the idea is to, like, jump across. But I first need to figure out how to get up there. Well, I can't go anywhere in that room. The place I'm coming from is where I use the key. I don't have a way to race these blocks here, to my knowledge. There's gotta be something I'm missing over here. Wait a second. Hmm. Hold on a second. I now understand why this thing is here. That's probably not the exact solution the developers had in mind, but it works. The demon experimented on us with the goal of absorbing the fairy's power and transforming himself. He's already captured nearly all the fairies in Hyrule. Take this key to help make it to help him stop him. I really want to know what the actual intended solution was for hitting that switch here. Where, like, was I intended to use my bomb to? On the elevator? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. My way was cooler? True. Oh my god. Wait, I have an idea. Now, I can leave while this is up. And now, I can enter this room. more bomb juice. All right, what am I supposed to use this bomb juice for? There's got to be a target or something around here. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh no, not another one of these. There's three possible ways to go kind of a deal. Well, let's start with the one with the key, because I have a key. Oh, this gotta be it. This gotta be the, the gamer item. We found a magic hourglass. I can travel back in time? Okay. I have an idea. What if I start pushing the block and then I use the the item to go back in time where the block used to be? I have an idea, chat. Hold on. Giga Chad. Time travel through the block, baby. Yeah, boy! You got the boss key. Hey, that's cheating! You can't be inside the ground! No! I'm stunned! Oh my god, thank god he's so bad. Oh my god, thank god he's so bad.
Okay, I think to the left of this entrance was where the key one is, meaning that the room I haven't completed yet is to the right, I think. Ooh, this is above the, the starting room. We got a map. I kind of want to jump down there, Chad. YOLO! I gotta be able to go down somewhere, and the only way I see of it being able to go down is literally just the center room. Like, maybe the elevator taking you downwards instead of upwards? Wait, I know! Time travel through it. Hey, we got the compass. Did I miss anything? Nope. Oh god. Health, 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 health! Ah! All right. Demons transforming went wrong. Some fairies escaped deep into the woods. Maybe your friend did too, posh champ? But well, what are you waiting for? Take this key and stop him. All right, time for the boss fight, chat. I can't use the bunny ears in here. Damn. Oh my god, what is that? Fairies. Fairy fuel demon. Abur something. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce. Oh my god, his feet hurt. A horrific monster created with the power of fairies. Aim for its backside. I have an idea. Oh, baby! Fairies! Did he just eat them? Oh, God. Dude, my health! No! Oh, thank God. You respawn here. Bye! Die, 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 die! Giga chat, giga chat, giga chat! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes! Dude, that was so fast. I'm not going for the attack. I'm going for health. Yeah, he's faster on phase two. I just have to stand closer to him before I use the time thing, so I'm not as far away. We did it! Let's go! They did see that they did say that some of the fairies was able to escape into the forest, so I guess we're looking for if <gasps> He's there! That explains how Link got into the woods for our mom, exactly. Oh yeah, no, we never got the birth certificate for the Cutcos. Uh, I think that was a pretty pretty well-designed mod. Uh, good music, good character models, good models in general. I like that they added a brand new item to it as well. 
Uh, but yeah, if you want to check this bottle for yourself, I will keep a link in the description. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video, though. I really do appreciate that. If you want to see more awesome content like this, definitely be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you want to see two other videos, you can click on the screen right now. And I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, if you want to be here live, you should check out the Twitch channel as well. Link's in the description.